Uh, through you, Chair, Minister, um, wondering what role you're specifically playing um, for agriculture in the role of education and training. There's a lot of challenges faced by industry. There's ongoing concerns that TAFE's not entirely fit for purpose for the ag sector. Um, the people in industry are hoping that um, more specialised and local industry knowledge would be used in training. Um, and there's also a lot of concern, um, and I think you would get this through... Um, you know, as a mum and a minister for women and, and families, for a lot of young kids, accommodation is not um, readily available anymore, and so you've got young kids going out from rural areas into towns to have to um, train. Um, what specifically are you doing to address the ongoing concerns about education and training in the ag sector? Well, of course, you're asking me um, a question that is more appropriate for the Minister for Skills. This is your... Uh, sorry, I, I haven't finished. Um, but oh, obviously, fabulous. I have been advocating uh, to great lengths on this matter. Um, I, too, have had conversations, um, you know, with with different parts of the industry and we know that this is a real issue um, but it is fantastic to see um, so much is happening in that skills and training area um, which is under Minister Ellis. So the $5 million Agricultural Training Centre of Excellence at Taz Tafe's uh, Freer Farm will be open from mid-2023 and will provide um, a skilled workforce for the future um, in a, that state-of-the-art training facility it's got such um, modern equipment and infrastructure, um, which, you know, is absolutely fantastic. And I certainly um, really, you know, enjoy, have enjoyed the time that I've had the opportunity to, to be out there and have a look at this facility. Um, this year, there are also fee-free TAFE training places um, in wine industry operations, agriculture, horticulture and dairy production. Um, and I can't remember off the top of my head but it was um, quite a significant um, leap in the number of students who had applied and were going, uh, making the most of that fee-free um, courses, which was uh, really fantastic. I think it was about three times as many is, is what we actually saw. So that, that is obviously working, which is great. Um, we're supporting our $490 million dairy industry to fill critical skills gaps. Uh, and during 22 and 23, we provided $80,000 for the Grow More, Milk More and Make More initiative to train 40 local artificial insemination technicians. Um, in February uh, of this year, I announced funding of $60,000 for Dairy Tasmania's uh, 2IC and manager training as part of the Strategic Industry Partnerships uh, grant program. And so it's programs like these that will certainly upskill our workforce um, and offer opportunities uh, to those in the agricultural um, sector. Um, now, you were talking about, um, you know, the workforce, and of course, this is an issue that we aren't just seeing across agriculture, we're seeing across so many industries. And, um, Minister, and indeed, Minister, can I bring you to your time limits as well around this? So, could you just you, briefly yes. sum of this up? So, my issue, Chair, is that the member asked quite a number of questions. I, I realise that. Question, I can Minister, finish through the Chair, chair was about your yeah, purpose but, consideration. Yeah, 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 just briefly finish it up. Thank you, Ms Finlay. Well, she hasn't got any No, no, Ms Finlay, um, yeah, if you could briefly finish up with your answer. Um, we are trying to get through a number of questions yep. and by, yeah, three-minute time limit on things. Well, I was just going to, you know, further touch on, um, you know, that, that workforce issue. Um, and another example to give is AgriGrowth will be assisting Skills Tasmania to consult um, with agricultural stakeholders as they develop a new industry skills um, compacts and associated action plans for agriculture that will support workforce um, development. Through you, Chair, Minister, my question was specifically, do you feel confident that the TAFE courses are fit for purpose for agriculture? And you mentioned some numbers, a secondary question to what are the raw numbers? It might have times by three. Do you know what the actual numbers are of the take-up TAFE for ag? Uh, so, again, there's a number of questions. <laughs> Just I'll do my Just best to, to answer those. Um, I think the fact that we are seeing um, the, the significant take-up of those fee-free TAFE training places um, across those industries that I mentioned, wine, numbers. agriculture, horticulture and dairy production, um, you know, that just shows that there is a great interest in Tasmanians. 
that there is a great interest in Tasmanians who are wanting to work in this space. Um, if you wanted specific numbers, I think you would need to address that question to the mm. Minister for Skills and Training. So as Ag Minister, you don't know. You're, you're happy that it's increased, but you don't actually know what the numbers are. It could have gone from three to nine, for instance. Um, uh, my understanding is um, that it was dairy training that went from six to 18. But as I say, for more uh, detailed uh, questions, you would need to obviously go to the Minister for Skills and Training. 